Coach Carl DeLuca with us here in the John and Dola Show. We're talking Wyoming area lacrosse. Coach, all the girls seem to reflect on that big win against Lake Lehman, you know, lost during the season. And they said, hey, nobody believed, but we believed in that win. And, and it was an emotional win. Most definitely. Um, the girls in the beginning, we, we have 18 girls. There's seven brand new girls to our team. Five of the seven never touched a stick. So we had to come out of that. And then going into our first couple games, we were only on the field on the field one time. We were practicing at the gym because of the weather. So we came in the, you know, starting with a loss, starting with Sam. I mean, what a game to start, you know, with, with young kids. So we asked the kids, you know, what, what's their expectation of the season? So their expectation of the season, you know, was let's get some wins, let's have a winning record. And I said, let's make playoffs, because I knew we were a young team. You know, as the season started developing and we're getting into games and they started adjusting to the game, knowing the game better, picking up their own game and getting better, the confidence you could see coming out. So now they had confidence. We went up there, we had a bad game against Lake Lehman. We didn't show up, you know, we just didn't didn't have you know the rhythm we had. Then we start then we started playing some some of our average games that we would compete in, started winning, then they were getting confidence. And then we went into a prep, which was a good game, then Abington was good. So they we're winning games, you know, by two goals, one goal here and there. And then they started getting confidence. And then we watched film. We watched film in Lake Lehman. I said, yo, they're just, just like us girls, you know. So we got to that point and they got the confidence and we just played hard. We played, we were aggressive to the ball, getting the balls. We win ground balls and get, get enough shots on goal. Things are gonna happen. And that's, that's what I stress to the girls. Not all the coaches in Northeastern Pennsylvania played lacrosse. Some of them, it's a new sport. So talk about you and your coaching staff here. You know, you know, Coach Schweitzer over there, he's been around a while. And uh, Coach Sabatini, yes, uh, he played at, at Sam and played in college. He played at college, too. He played at Cabrini College in Philly. So he was a goalie. So he came on this year for the first time. As, as he likes to call it, he's a, he's a voluntold. <laughs> and uh, Coach Robbie calls himself a volunteer. And he's our volunteer coach. So... So you know, Coach Robbie and I started Valley Laxers a long time ago when our boys were started to play when they were in like fourth grade. So we started this process, getting that going. They were interested, that started growing. The interest started growing at this level. So then we uh, we approached the school board to get it started here. Um, I never played it. I was I was playing baseball. Uh, I love the sport, it's fun, it's action. So and you can see the kids enjoy that, you know, moving around. And it's not that we're in baseball, you have nine players on a, uh, on a team that they're on the field, you might get 11 in the game. Here, you start with 11 and we're rotating and 90% of the time we're getting all 18 girls in our game because the rotation with the running going on, so you you need quick legs going in and out and fresh legs. Uh, uh, Coach Sabatini this year is helping out with the goalies. So he's he's working extra with the goalies at practice, working over different things because he played goalie and he also played some other positions. So he's able to to, to help us on that. And we're able to isolate more by having three coaches. You know, one defense, I'm helping with the offense, Coach Robbie's doing the defense. So we work on that and then we come together and put it all together, the game plan. And you have some good athletes that play other sports, leaders, field hockey or basketball or soccer. I mean, yes. these girls can do, they're versatile, um, exactly. but they really appreciate lacrosse and have grown some of them to say, okay, now lacrosse is my favorite yeah. sport. Um, talk a little bit about some of these young ladies that have stepped up. Oh, uh, we got a lot of our freshmen that stepped up, and you, you interviewed a bunch of them here today. Uh, Jewel's been playing since she was young on our, our feeder program from Valley Laxers coming up. So she's liking, liking lacrosse, and, and she wants to make that her main sport, even though she plays other sports. And I, I kind of like them playing other sports, getting used to uh, not just concentrating on one. And then uh, Sophia's been getting college looks. You know, she's, she's a junior this year that started last year, so we had some college teams uh, looking at her yesterday because uh, it was a live stream game. So they were, they were looking at her through, through that. So uh, every year we've been putting girls in, uh, minus our first year, this is our eighth year, minus that first year, we've been getting girls into uh, college playing each, each and every year. There's at least one to two. A couple years back in 19, uh, that 2020 year, because we didn't play it, we had uh, seven girls go and play in college that year. So that was a, that was a big year. You know, you have Mackenzie Schweitzer. Uh, she's probably torn between lacrosse and field hockey, but she's gonna do field hockey. That's what she's going going to uh, Lafayette for. So she's gonna be playing field hockey there. But they, the coach has been talking with her maybe two sports. So, you know, you might see that, you know, down the line. Um, Emily Jackson that you interviewed here, uh, she's going to Wilkes and she was just asked by Wilkes to join their team. So she's gonna be playing now uh, at that level. 
So we have, we have a lot of good girls coming back and we're losing six, but we're, we're getting six coming from the feeder program that are in that uh, eighth grade time frame. So we'll be getting some six more freshmen coming in. And if we could pick up one or two more, that would be great. Uh, right now we're looking for a goalie. We need to, we need to replace our goalie. So, uh, and that's a unique position because a lot of people don't want to play goalie. So we're looking at some, uh, a replacement for goalie at this point. You have a big high with the win against Lehman. Obviously Crestwood's a quality program. But I'm sure you're thinking these girls are going to respond. You got the state playoffs next week. I'm sure the girls are going to respond and say, "Hey, we're going to give it our all, no matter who we're going to play. We're going to we're going to go out there and give it our best." Oh, no doubt about it. Uh, because the first time we played Crestwood, we played them here at home on the grass, and that was a 13-13 thir uh, tie, I think it ended up being. But it was a tie game, and that was going back and forth. We played very well that day. Uh, the key to the game is picking up with those ground balls. You win those ground balls, and then control control uh, the ball on offense. Now you're controlling the game, you know, kind of like in a, in a basketball game. Uh, we just couldn't get into rhythm uh, yesterday up there at Crestwood. You know, we, we had to call an early timeout because we went down three quick. The girls weren't sliding. We, they were just not not moving for us. So we got them active again, and then we started coming back in the game. I mean, it was 5-2, and then I think it was at 5-3 at one point, and then, uh, and then we started falling apart again. You know, we... We were in man-to-man, -man, and then we went to a zone at that point just to try to calm the girls down because the, the speed wasn't matching up with the game. Uh, and and we, just, we just had an off day at that day. But uh, we told the girls, you got the confidence. You can play with any team in this league. So, you know, don't give up on yourself. Let's go. I mean, uh, when we beat Lehman, we were, we were down, I think, by three or four goals. And we ended up coming back, tying it up, and then we went ahead and held it. So, you know, the cross turns around fast, so you're not down long before you could come back. You've been around your sons, you see how guys respond, but there's something about being around these young ladies and, and watching them grow as student athletes. Uh, I'm sure it's pleasurable for you to, to just be around these girls. They're fun. They said that you take it light with them. They kind of like that attitude. So how about your experience in, in coaching these young ladies? Oh, I told them, I says, I, says, I want practice. I want to make practice fun. They're doing drills, they're running dr in drills. We play music at, at practice. And half the time they don't know they're running in some of these drills, so that's how we're getting our conditioning in. But they're doing ball drills, whether it's a ground ball drill or passing drills. We're working that right into that practice, and, and they're getting used to that. So I try to keep it light and fun. Now they know if they start going too far with the fun, music goes off, and when I say on the line, we meet. That means now we're running, really running, and it's going to get serious because now you pushed it too far. But I try to make it fun, uh, let them learn the game, and build the game. From, from that in and so that's that's why I think that's that's been a success we've been having. Coach great to catch up with you. A you successful too. season and we wish you the best in the state playoffs next week. Hey thank you. Appreciate it.